Yo, Brandon Love Sports TV. What's good, family? Hope everybody's doing well. Uh, I want to do this video real quick because I'm going to talk about Nate Robinson and a story I saw come through my timeline that really disturbed me. And it really just speaks to the way these players are nowadays. Um, and the story and the story says that Nate Robinson is, is upset with Doc Rivers, blaming Doc Rivers for intentionally not playing him in games to keep him from getting, I, want to say, I think it was like $3 million or whatever the salary, $31 million. It was some some significant number of money that he didn't get. And he's essentially blaming Doc Rivers. That is hogwash. That is the most ridiculous thing I've ever heard. But it speaks to how today's NBA is. This, this, this guy, this weak era that we in, where guys don't want to just go out there and get it out the mud and earn the money that they get on the floor. You know, you just want somebody to just give you some money for not getting a job. And Nate Robinson was an average basketball player at best. And that's just the truth. That's just me being nice. I'm not saying he wasn't good. I'm not saying he didn't have skill. I mean, he was he was a good basketball player. He was a solid player. But, you know, if he's not, if, if, if Doc Rivers is not, what good coach in his right mind would bench a, a, a quote-unquote star player who has the potential to help us win games? And Doc Rivers is a winner. Those of y'all that know Doc Rivers, you know he's won championships. He's been in conference finals. He's, he's had a lot of success. You know, you could argue about some of the, you know, the 3-1 leads and all that stuff. That's a whole discussion, but... Nonetheless, he's still been there. He's a playoff coach deep in the playoffs, and he's won a championship against Kobe in, in, in the Lakers. Well, I, you know, I still think the referees helped them win that, but that's a whole other discussion. But nonetheless, he still won a championship, you know. And so if, if Doc Rivers, at the level of coaching that he is and the, the success that he's had to undermine his <laughs> – his acumen and his, his his history to think that he would intentionally not play Nate Robinson to keep him from getting money is is crap. And that's what these players do. They don't want to take any responsibility. They don't want to go out there and get it out the mud, work hard, earn the money. But yet, the reason he's not getting in the game, the right reason why he wasn't getting played is because he wasn't getting it done on the court. <laughs> that had nothing to do with Doc Rivers. I wouldn't have played him either. If it, I'm gonna put the guys on the on the floor that's gonna put my team in the best position to win and compete. And so, if you're not doing it and you don't make the money, oh well, you know you didn't put in the work or you just wasn't good enough. You know how about that? You know, it's, it's not wrong with that. If your game just don't translate, to, you just don't get in the game. You know, don't blame Doc Rivers. Blame yourself. <laughs> All right, y'all. Brandon Love Sports TV. It's your boy. Shout out to the LDBC. Lions Den basketball community. I'm out. Peace.